Right now, the stock market is trading below the 200-day moving average, and that means stocks are getting slightly bearish. Now, I know many of you don't like to trade to the short side, so today I'm going to teach you the perfect asset to take advantage of the short market cycle without going short. What you're looking at is the inverse version of the SPY ETF. The SPY ETF follows the overall stock market, the S&P 500. What this asset does, the SH, that's the ticker symbol, SH, it inverses the S&P 500. So when the stock market goes down, the S&H goes up. Why is this important? Why is it relevant? Why are we talking about this right now? Well, the stock market is trading below the 200-day moving average. The SPY, SPY, is the stock market, and it's trading below the 200-day moving average. And that means the SH is trading above the 200-day moving average. And if the stock market continues trading lower, the SH, the ticker symbol we're looking at, is going to trade higher. Now, I'm not suggesting that we're in a bear market cycle, but I am suggesting that we may stick around these levels for a while. And that means stocks may be going sideways to down for quite a bit. And if that's the case, and if you have a portfolio, a stock portfolio that you want to protect, this is a good asset to include in the portfolio because it'll offset some of the risk to the downside. Alternatively, if you like to trade long and you don't like to trade short, you can trade this asset while the SPY is below the 200-day moving average. I wouldn't trade this asset when the SPY moves back above the 200-day moving average. And that's this line right here. But if you want to take advantage of the stock market right now, while the stock market is trading below the 200-day moving average, it's a good time to be exposed to the SH. This is the inverse ETF that trades inverse to the stock market. And it's a good time to buy it when it trades near the 200-day moving average on its way back up. Wait for a pullback to the 200-day moving average and go long when it hits that level and only do this while it's trading above the 200-day moving average. If it's trading below the 200-day moving average, that means the overall stock market is getting strong again, and you don't want to be in this asset then. Hope this helps.